Okay, so let's talk about the Modern Warfare 2 UI for a second. Uh, this is a bit of a different video than I normally make. Uh, this is very unscripted. Uh, I am recording this with like streaming software, so apologies. This isn't the normal video. Uh, but I just need to rant for a little bit, and it seems like uh, the, the, the general sentiment um, around the UI in MW2 uh, is that it's bad, and I fully agree this is, I think, the worst UI that we have gotten since BO4, and it's not even close. Um, and just to make myself, j just, just to self-pacify myself, um, I need to rant on, uh, on it for a little bit. Um, so I'm going to break down this entire UI. Now I'm not a UI designer, uh, although part of my job is graphic design. I am by no means saying that I could do a better job, uh, but, but there is some, all right, no, I'm going to go on record. There are certain things I could do a fucking better job at here. Um, I can't, all right, I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to break it down. I'm just going to start. I'm going to go through the whole goddamn menu. This might be a 45-minute video, but it's okay. We got to get watch time up anyway. So, first of all, when you first load into the game, you kind of have this Call of Duty HQ thing. I assume that once Warzone is released, it's going to show up here, uh, and, and whatever future games will also show up here, uh, and that this is meant to be like the main launcher. I don't hate this system for that. What I dislike, though, is that you click into it, and it launches Modern Warfare 2, and it loads up a system that is very, very similar to it, and then you click again, uh, and it loads in a completely different um, kind of system here. Um, what I would do is almost combine these two screens here together. Um, have, you know, Modern Warfare 2, Warzone, let's just say Black Ops 3 is here. Um... Uh, or three. I don't know why three. Black Ops, you know, wh whatever is next is here. Um, and just make it that when you click onto a game, it opens kind of a sub-menu, kind of, kind of a, uh, like a switching lobbies sort of thing. And on that switching lobbies, that's where you have the things that show up on this little L2 menu here. The, uh, the multiplayer campaign co-op. Not dissimilar to what we have currently in Vanguard Cold War, uh, 2019. Um, where you just click between them, and when you click on one instead of bringing you to a Hulu type system like this, it just brings you to this, you know, normal lobby screen. Um, and on this normal lobby screen, you kind of still have the start button and you have your game modes up here that you can pick, pick between. I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, but just combining these two menus so that it's not so many button clicks away to get to everything. Um, also, just want to point this out uh, because I thought this was kind of hilarious. <laughs> Um, this little quick bar over here, uh, does absolutely nothing to make things easier to scroll between. Um, for example, to get to featured to co-op, or from featured to co-op, on the actual menu, um, we're, we're, we're on featured right now. I'm going to hit down once, twice, three times, and I'm in co-op, right? Now, let's do the same move, but using the quick menu. It's one button press, two, three, four, and press again, that's five. Like, you're doing the same scrolling action. I guess you, you can go from the top to the bottom, but even that is still, that, that's still one, two, three, and you're there. One, two, three, and you're there. Like, it's the same number of buttons pressed but you just end up there. Unless they're going to break this out more and it's going to be like a ground war tab and then gunfight and then a tier one mode or whatever. It just doesn't make any sense to even have this. Which sucks because I like this right here. I love this system. Just make that, put that on the other screen and once you're into multiplayer or whatever, just have us already on this screen with a, with a uh, uh, playlist selection tab here. That's all that you need. And what you could even have here is maybe even you have a games tab, but then you also above it have a featured tab that is global across all games. So you could have, you know, a, a featured playlist that is a limited time mode in Warzone and next to it a third person playlist in MW2. Next to that is gunfight in, in Cold War or something like that, right? 
and then under it you have the individual games that you would load up so you have one launcher that you launch all the other games off of and you you kind of still have that like almost not not really a news feed but kind of like a what's going on right now in call of duty sort of thing you know uh advertising you the other games you know if you hop on wanting to play cold war let's just say but then you see oh shit uh they're they're doing a gunfight tournament right now in Modern for two i'll load that game up instead if that makes sense um once you click into uh, a game either co-op multiplayer or campaign campaign i'm perfectly fine with it being laid out like this i think for campaign it 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 kind of works it makes sense it's simple enough that you really just need four things. Uh, resume game, new, new game, mission select, cinematics. Sure, that makes sense. Um, I, I, I have no issue with that. Um, Co-op is, is kind of a weird thing because there's only three missions. I kind of don't want to like say exactly what I would do because I don't know how many there's going to be. For instance, I don't know if raids are just going to be like you know almost like how defender is right now if it's just going to say like raids and then the name of the raid or like if it would be broken down by like here are missions here's defenders here's this here's raids here's trials if trials ever come back um there's just just not a lot of information out so i i, I can't really speak on that too much multiplayer however i think you can kind of build a base off of this screen right um I really like how this screen is laid out. You still have the normal tabs up at the top. What I would do uh, is keep this, kind of keep everything in the corner right here. You have a start match, right? XP tokens, sure. Um, I would set up maybe like, like add like a quick play section right here. Next to it, maybe like a switch lobbies. And you can click that to switch lobbies between co-op and, and whatever. That was one thing that Black Ops had that I am so surprised no one else no, no other Call of Duty has had since. There was like a little switch lobbies, and you could switch between private matches, custom. Uh, uh, those are both the same thing. Custom games, uh, wager matches, you know, uh, uh, combat training stuff like that. Um, and then under it, you put your your featured playlists like you always have, um, as well as a tab for your daily challenges. And when you click that, it expands up to show you your your daily challenges, or it expands out. You know, I'm not picky on that. But just show us everything right then and there. Uh, I don't think that there is a reason that we need an entire screen here to show us so much. And then the next screen shows us so little. Uh, combine them onto one screen. That's, that, that's really all that I'm saying here. Under weapons. Um, I would honestly, I would combine weapons and operators. I can see why they don't. Um, it's probably some kind of like a, like a thing of like selling stuff. But um, I would like like right here under weapons, you have uh, your your class, your kill streak, vehicle customization and a big empty spot right here where my goddamn face can be. Um, just put operators here and just when you make it and when you get to operators, like, like when you scroll over that, click in and it gives you this screen. I feel like there's no need for there to be a second a second thing. IMO just streamline the top a little bit while also making this less like empty or at the very least center this something about it being left aligned just has always felt weird to me uh or like, like incomplete almost um so I, I i think putting operators there and then honestly not changing this at all i think this is a is this is a perfect system um which is bizarre uh uh which which i'm not gonna say often d during this whole thing but i think this system works pretty well you hit l3 to preview cool although i've heard the preview is a little wonky but oh all right the entire thing just crashed dope <laughs> um i've heard that the preview is a little bit wonky um it the sensitivity oh yeah it's super wonky um doesn't matter to me how many people are doing that. You can click this button to pre to, for, for your bio, and it's all right there. I really, really like this. Um, customize. You have a customize option. Oh, it looks like the bio doesn't quite go away. Customize option, and then you have your like kind of subsets that you click into. I like that. I think it works. Um, no real complaints uh, about the operators tab, except I wish it was just part of this tab, and just make it you know personalization or or whatever you know. But 
there is so much <laughs> to the class setup that I think has to be done. Um, before I jump into that quickly, though, vehicle customization, I have no issue with this. I barely use this, um, so I'm not exactly the best person to be talking about it, um, but it's okay. I, I, I don't have any real complaints. Um, kill streaks, uh, very similar. I don't really have any complaints other than I don't like that you have to scroll for things. I think uh, there aren't that many options, and, and this is a common theme, is they like just making things big for the sake of it. Um, I think you can fit all of these kill streaks there, like, like, like on one on one page. Um, that that's really my only complaint on here. I don't mind it being horizontal. I think when it is something like this, as long as again it, it it's as long as it can fit on one page, and um, it is just like this one kind of a uh, uh, setting here. Uh, like, like, you know, you're not clicking into bomb drone to choose what color of bomb drone or anything. As long as it's only one layer deep, um, I think it's mostly fine. Now's the big one. <laughs> Create a class. First of all, this should be horizontal. Um, the, the, the actual classes, um, you know, the, the fact that I can see um, how many, one, two, three, four, five, six of my 12 classes at once... Uh, and I can't even easily scroll, like, I can't go back, you know, like I'm hitting left on the, on the D-pad here and it's just not, uh, it's just not going. So if I want to edit my AUG class, I have to come all the way over. Um, and if I even want to know if I have an AUG class, I have to scroll all the way over. Um, when there is so much wasted real estate up here, just seems, um, unnecessary. Um, you know, th there's a reason that if you're going to the shopping you, the, the the grocery store you write a list out vertically because it makes better use of space you don't write eggs milk this that you know it you're, you're gonna run out of paper just go top down and and it'll it'll make sense um i don't even mind i do think that 2019 had a better system with displaying your stuff being vertically i think you had it was like gun uh, secondary under it and then your tactical lethals perks and then and then under that even was was your field upgrade i don't even necessarily think we have to do that even if you just lower this thing to be uh uh horizontal here uh uh list out the the classes here and then you can keep this stupid space over here you know to look at your gun or whatever but that uh uh i i, I think making them vertical is crucial especially in game when you're swapping between stuff super super fast and you just want to see oh shit do i have a sniper class yes i do okay let me hop into that quick um once you're in the game itself or in the uh, in the class itself which also custom loadouts nine out of twelve i don't know why we don't just start with um with with max and just make them default that seems like an un unnecessary change not a big thing but it's whatever also, I think because I'm on PlayStation, I get two extra slots, although it says 10 up there still. Again, small thing, but uh, it's just one of those whys. Once you're now in here, um, man, where to, where to begin in here even? Um, I don't necessarily mind that the guns are horizontal here. Um, I, I do like that you can actually see, like, armory, like... That, that you have what's a, uh, um, different blueprints back behind it. I do like that functionality. Um, I do think shrinking this so that you can fit all the guns on one screen would be good. Or, again, making it vertical, I think, makes things just run a ton smoother. Um, there are a lot of issues, I think, with the, uh, uh, the tree, the progression tree. I genuinely don't have a solution for this. I think that th this tree is pretty good at showing you exactly... Okay, actually, let me let me pick a gun that I don't have everything uh, insta-unlocked on. Um, hold on, if I can figure that out. <laughs> uh, give me... Um, Jesus, what don't I... That, I guess? Yeah, okay, it's the AUG. Oops, what did I even just hit? Oh, okay, apparently hitting circle. No, what? Oh, oh, hitting X? What did I do? 
Okay. What? <laughs> that's, that's a good sign. Um, I do like this. It, it tells you, you know, when, when you're on a gun, um, level 20 to get that, 13 to get that. I think it would be a little bit better to show you what kind of gun it is before you scroll over it, like light machine gun, assault rifle. Maybe even color code them or something, because it does start to get confusing when you're dealing with like, you know, like the, the AK platform. It gets confusing just at a glance here because we have AR, 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 I think SMG, SMG, LMG. We have three uh, AK uh, assault rifles. Um, that it's a little bit hard to kind of differentiate, like, you know, uh, uh, on the fly. Maybe some kind of color-coded or, like, a symbol or something might be good. Uh, I don't know. Um, going into Gunsmith. <laughs> Again, there's there's so much. Uh, first of all, give us real stats. I, uh, th th that's a, another huge thing, but, but whatever it is. I would also... I would even like a, it would be cool to have a toggle button that, um, that, that takes you from like this screen here where you have like barrel laser optic all situated around the gun like this and your, your simple, you know, your simplified stuff here. It'd be cool to have just a button and this, uh, uh, this stuff over here sw like switches to real numbers. Um, and all of this stuff just shifts over to the left. Uh, kind of like a, a Vanguard, um, or or like in game in most game in most Call of Duties, uh, when when you're editing class, how everything's just laid out, um, uh, not alphabetically, but but just laid laid out in order. There, that would just be a nice quality of life, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not gonna touch the firing range. It's a firing range. Uh, people expected a lot from it, but it is it's just a fucking firing range. Um, there, it would also let me see if I can find. A gun that I don't have some stuff unlocked. Unlocking by da 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 do. It might be good to have like a button when something isn't unlocked, uh, but you need to like level a specific gun up to get that um, attachment. It might be good to like push the touchpad and it takes you to that weapon tree and that weapon tree level to be like, this is where you got to be, and and you can see where you're at with that. Camos, this is a big one. Um, I I really like this little separate box that we have here. It's it it works very well for me. I even like the um shit. Wait, how do you get to it now? Um, nope, that's friends list. Am I missing a button? At some point, I remember seeing. Oh oh, it's it's going up to push this. I even like this little like checklist thing that you got going on here. I really really like that. I would maybe make it. A little bit more apparent that that right there is a button you could push because uh, I just didn't know. Um, that looks like just a a, a heading to me. Um, although I guess this here should be the heading. I don't know. Um, I like this box. Let's keep the box. I would just scoot it up, scoot this all the way out, like like the uh, the horizontal, you know, the the other stuff here. Uh, scoot it all the way out so that it's it's centered. And you're fitting as much in screen as you can. Um, and instead of having to scroll all the way to the right to get to Woodland, and now Woodland 2, I don't know why there's two pages of it, uh, digital, uh, you know, uh, your, your, your different subcategories, uh, make at the very least the categories vertical. So that instead of having to scroll, let's fucking see, it, you know, to, to go one category over, I have to go one, two, uh, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To get to the next category, I only have to go, you know, one and then two. I'm on the next category. You can even put it on the triggers, right? You hit a trigger and it just skips ahead a whole bunch. That's something that they've done before. I don't know why exactly they don't do it here. Because there's 186 camos, um, and they're only divided into two um, rows here. Meaning that if you want to get to some of the latter camos... You have to hit the button 90 times. I'm doing that math right, right? Like, this is insane <laughs> to, to, to get all the way over there. And then you get all the way over there. I don't even know what I'm at now. I'm Okay, I'm, I'm getting there. We're almost there. Uh, oh, that's not even the end. It just looked like a natural end. There we go. We end on cliffside here. Um, 
get the RPK to level 18 to unlock this challenge. Again, you should have be able to like touch hit touchpad and it opens up the the RPK menu or something like that. Um, th this whole I really really like the the camo system um, in this game. I think just the, the the menu is is just really really holding it back. Tacticals and lethals I really don't have much of a problem with. Um, again, I I I prefer usually things to be vertical in most scenarios, but it works here again because they can all show on one. Uh, on one page um again though i would center it i don't know why there's just a blank space here it makes it look like it's it's missing something imo um perk packages i'll, I'll come back to perk packages real quick just talking about field upgrades um same sort of thing i would if possible to get them all to fit i would get them to fit it looks like there are actually might be too many um here it'd be fine to do a, a scroll i guess it just seems weird um yeah, I don't know. I would even you, you could even do a thing. And actually, this this might um, be be a a better thing broadly for the entire class. Instead of um, every time that you hit a button, actually that's a bad example. That's the one time it does it. Instead of hitting a button and it taking you to a new page like this, where tactical and it's next to all your shit, and then it opens a new thing. You could do a thing for the entire class that's similar to what's happening right here, where you click this and it just opens above it um, so that it doesn't feel like you're wasting so much of your screen when you click that. And now, th again, there's so much of your screen wasted for, for this amount. You know, just make it a thing where you click it and all of your stuff shows up here. And then even the scroll could even be justified or feel better there because it is a sub menu. You know what I mean? Same thing. Uh, weapons might be a little bit weird because you have the categories, but I think same same sort of deal. Um, um, and then you know if if you have multiple, just a sub menu above that sort of thing. Um, you can even have you know the actual thing, you know, flow off screen kind of. Um, the other the, the the other thing though I would change about field upgrade, I don't understand the reason for having a second field upgrade that's locked until you hit a certain level and then once you have it you can just put whatever you want on there um in my opinion even if you want to keep it locked just make these two separate slots i feel like just a left field upgrade and a right one um and if you don't want one of them you can pull it out and it'll it'll be both um it just feels like again like an unnecessary step and just like a like like what is the purpose of doing this i i, I don't know I don't see a reasoning. I, I could see a reasoning why, like why you might want to remove that because you want you you don't want that added step. And I like that they that they give you the option to you know remove whatever this is. Um, but just put it all on one page um, that then cycles up and you can click it. Um, I think that would work a ton better. Also, again, it would fill in this empty space here uh, that I I don't know why they have. Perk packages. This is the biggest thing. I don't think perk packages need to exist. And when I say that, I don't mean the whole idea of base perks, bonus perks, uh, whatever this shit's called, ultimate perks. That That's a completely separate system. I just think that this whole package thing is flawed uh, from the ground up. Um, the reason for that is because there are five custom perk packages that you can make. Um and you can, let's see, we're going to edit it, and we're going to make this one, you know, we're not even actually going to edit this, uh, but but let's just say that we make this perk package specific for this class, for custom loadout 9. Awesome. Now, for my AUG class, I want a different perk package. I want for this one a brand new one. We're going to edit it, and on this one, instead of overclock, I want quick fix on it. Cool. Now I have another perk package set for my AUG class. Dope. But that's two of my five allotted packages. I have 12 classes. It is impossible for me to have 12 classes with five completely different perk setups. Um, and now, for me personally, I probably only use one perk uh, setup that I switch on the fly when there's a challenge I have to get done. Uh, or, or, you know, uh, a very, very, like, specific cases. But that's me. I suck at this game. There are tons of people out there who want 
a specific one for when they're going stealth or when they're going up against snipers or when they are sniping or when they're running gunning or oh this very specific map has this one very specific spot that i love going to with uh this uh, uh you know with this gun and for this gun i really like to have tracker yada yada um and and can get in those minute details that they just can't make um because the perk packages don't even line up with the amount of classes that you have and i think it is also a little bizarre that you can save out these perk packages you can make your own custom package of perks uh of which there are four total variables uh when you can't do the same for your weapons you can't save out like if i made this super cool awesome weapon i can't save this out as a package uh to apply to other classes um even though there are how many variables on just this one screen not including uh weapon tuning or or the entire personalization section you have to rebuild all of that every single time um and it seems like they they took the package system that was that should be in my opinion uh made for the weapons and applied it to perks for whatever reason um i just don't get it also an, another uh nitpick sort of thing that i talked about a bit before um right here you open up and, and this is the exact same thing as the field upgrades it opens up a sub menu like this i love that and i also love that one it's centered and two you can actually see them all but when you go to the middle perk now you can scroll because these ones despite their actual icons being the same size the same size font they put them in widescreen for some reason so now we have to scroll for these last two and i don't know why uh i think visually it's supposed to show like oh well this perk is worth double these perks but it just like like it just makes things a little confusing they did fix the bug at least um in the beta the like the ones off screen here weren't showing up you had to just know to scroll um they thankfully fixed that so people know to scroll this time but for a while i was unaware that you know bird's eye or whatever was over there was even a perk in the beta um thankfully they fixed that i think just make it f fix it more just just make it like this i don't know um as perk packages i think that about wraps up um uh create a class there, there's a million other things we can get into, but I've been talking about this for so long. Um, um, the last thing I, I, I want to touch on is now just this uh, uh, this menu over here. Like I said, I really, really like this idea. I love having this kind of dashboard right here, home social progression. Awesome. I love it. First of all, just, just before we hop into it, social, this should all be vertical. There's no reason that I can only see three people yeah three people right now at a time if i go to friends list i see four and then i have to scroll to see anyone else just make this stuff j j just list of names and even if you wanted list of names you know off on the side and then when you scroll over them then show a big uh you know box of their their calling cards or whatever although no one is doing anything for their calling cards seemingly uh or that's a glitch i don't know um so so that's just one thing about social um, that said, though, I really like this system here, having this kind of dashboard. I really wish you could customize this in some way. Like, keep home. I don't even know where home takes you. Does that take you? Yeah, okay, to, to that screen. That's home, uh, I guess. Um, I like having this system. I think it would be nice to be able to customize, you know, be able to put one up here that is your create a class or, um, you know, a specific game mode that you like, you know, quick play up here or something like that. So that you can use this quick menu to quickly navigate to the things that matter to you the most that is what makes sense to me for instance i'm never going to need progression anymore after uh, i have two more levels to go never going to need progression anymore um because levels don't matter <laughs> during the season um you know it it'd be a nice quality of life thing in my opinion um channels i don't fully get i use discord everyone i know uses discord um, I'm not against that though. Um, notifications, when it works, it, it, it works good. I like it. Um, settings, I absolutely really, really like this as well. Um, I, I really like also having a quick settings uh, kind of option here and a search. That's really nice. I think keeping the idea of the quick settings here where, where you can apply 
Like, like we, you can take certain settings and add them to your quick bar. Great idea. I think just apply to the rest. Let me know if you guys agree with this, disagree with this. Did I skip over a part of the menu that you're like, this is absolutely insane? Um, why is no one talking about this? I might have. Um, I probably have. Because there's so much to this menu that you don't even know exists until you accidentally push a button and you end up on the weapon tuning uh, page or something. It's, uh, it's, it's a little bizarre. Um, so let, let me know what you guys think down, down below. Um, I think, again, having just kind of a switch lobby that, that you can kind of move between would work very, very well. Um, um, and, and just, I don't know, putting more stuff on one screen instead of, I mean, right now, go, going back to the actual screen here, there are three things. This is the main menu, and I can click on three game modes right now. That's all that I can see. That's insane. That's absolutely insane to me. But anyway, that, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Thanks, thanks for listening to me ramble and word vomit for like half an hour here. Um, like, subscribe, all that stuff. New videos coming out this week. Uh, should have some more Gary Aswalt stuff uh, and some shorts, hopefully. Um, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in those videos. Uh, bye.